Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So when pro players say guys I have an idea and you look for one second away and then you're getting into the tag and then you're seeing this. 25 wizards. But before we take a look at the tag itself, one quick time because there's still the offers in the shop which means like the hero skins, the background scenery and everything. So if you're thinking about buying any of those or like the other two offers, make sure to go into your, into your settings, into more settings, and then at the bottom you can find the creator code. Make sure to use the creator code in there if you would like to support this channel, everything what I'm doing, then it's code ITSU. Thank you so much for that. And well, after highlighting already this attack quite a bit, I think we should just jump right into it, and you guys will see what exactly happened and what Exorcist did to this base. So let's start off with a couple of lightning. So those pros are just so insane with seeing the lightning value. Things which normal players just do not see. And this is why this, the spell is just so strong. So he's using two earthquakes, using a couple of lightnings onto the scatter as well. And now he's making the wizard tower, the warden and arch tower invisible. And with this he's like changing the angle on how the Royal Champion Shield is going through the base. And with this, he's like getting rid of a scatter, two Inferno Towers, and that's even, that's just insane. The next thing what he's going to do is, well, he's doing a small Queen Walk. The only problem with this at the moment, kinda, is that he's having not too many spells left. Because, well, he used already quite a bit in the beginning. Not only to redirect the Royal Champion Shield, but as well implying all of the damage with the Lightning spells onto the defenses. But now the next... The next step, more or less, is for the queen to take down the bottom defenses, walk into the eagle because the eagle is the next important building to take out to make sure there's not too much damage. And then he's just golem and yes, normal wizard into the base. Like that's basically it. So this queen charge, or this turned into a queen charge apparently, with not too many spells, is somehow supposed to make it through all of the base. With the wizards, and that's always strange to say, to be honest, saying like wizards and not super wizards or something. Because, to be honest, we we're back to like, I don't know, like, go we, But this means go golems and wizards or something like that. Really, really strange. But either way, somehow it's working out for him because the queen is taking down the town hall. The king... Like, that's not even used just yet. That's used on the bottom side. I think he wanted to get rid of this bottom side with the royal champion. Um, or like, the, take down the enemy royal champion with his queen. But instead, the king is walking to the right, triggering the tornado, which isn't the worst thing to happen. But I think he wanted to clear out the bottom side just to make sure that this is not turning into a time fail. But apparently the base has other plans, and this means the king is clearing out the right side, but it's not clearing out the bottom side, which could cause a, a time fail for this attack, which would be quite sad, because this attack so far is just insane. Exorcist is pushing his queen further in, making sure she can reach everything, because, well, as soon as she's walking around the corner, going for the wizard tower, she should be able to reach the, uh, the Tesla and the enemy warden inside. And he have, has like a couple of more seconds left. He's using the queen ability nice and early, but this is causing his own warden to die. But to be honest, that shouldn't be that big of a pr problem because the queen is nicely stepping in. Now going around and going for the bottom defenses. Like that's really nice that the queen is not going for any walls. I think I have seen already many times where the queen could actually reach the last building, but she's just going for the wall. Either way, headhunter in, making sure the last hero is going down. And with this... This is being a triple. And if, if this is not like meta or like game breaking, I don't know. Like this was such an insane attack. And you can actually triple with 25 wizards. That was that was kind of impressive, I have to say. But there were a couple of other attacks which I found really interesting and really strong um, over the entire week in the Clan War League. Because that was an attack from the Clan War League uh, from Tribe where they're pushing right now. Uh, where they pushed actually the, the clan into champion one, so they got that done. So now let's take a look at the next attack, which is witches. And the reason why I highlight this attack is because um, I really feel like those witches are feel like getting a little bit not enough love what they should get because I feel like they're still so strong and not so many people are actually using them. But now let's take a look at this attack. So he's right now just taking care of the eagle 
and the scatter, which is obviously great value. And right after that, he's going to send in a blimp to make sure that he's getting the second layer Inferno Tower. With this being said, he's creating nice pathing for his queen, which is supposed to walk into the town hall. As you guys know, you want to go into the town hall most of the time with witches, because otherwise, not the witches, but the percent are going to, to activate the town hall. Which is not the best thing to happen, because if that happens to you, this means on the other side that, uh, well... Uh, the witches won't right away get into the town hall or like get the town hall down even though it's already activated and the town hall is kind of strong against those skeletons and witches and overall this mass group stuff if you know what I mean. But now let's get into the, um, the next phase of the attack because we have the witches getting used into the town hall. That's how you want to do it. Queen ability nice and early just to make sure that she's getting all of those buildings out. And now those witches are getting into the town hall. Nice rage to get the town hall down really quickly. And now we have this one hero tornado trap because this hero tornado trap is causing the witches not to jump on top of the town hall. Which means he can save the warden ability. So really nice reaction. Uh, really nicely done, not wasting the warden ability on the town hall, but instead being really cautious about waiting and when to use the warden ability. Um, now the queen is still like under fire from this one expo, which is not the nicest thing to have, but still he has the warden ability to protect her, which is obviously like a nice thing. The scatter on the back end is still up there as well, which is, uh, well, most of the time kind of annoying, but still, warden ability is still not used, so that's, uh, that's the nice thing about saving the warden ability to the end. So, Scatter is tanked, Royal Champ ability now in to take down the Scatter, or at least damage the Scatter. Let's see if the Royal Champion can actually take it down. The Royal Champion can actually take it down with the help of the Warden, which means there's no splash damage left, or at least not enough, to take down like 20 Witches with healers. So this is an insane overkill, and I feel like this attack had to be in this video. This attack was really nicely done from Nightmare. And, well, this is how you completely smash Town of 13s easily with those witches. And it looks so easy, to be honest. This is looking so easy, I feel like. Um, so, yeah, easy peasy, 3 star. But I have one more attack to go for you guys. Because, like I said, this is pretty much like a highlight reel of this one week. Um, being over there in Tribe. So, let's take a look at the next attack, which is from Knowledge. And I think one of the strongest attacks still in the game is the Blizzard Lalo. I feel like it's so underrated nowadays. Um, because a lot of people like just being scared of, of like, oh, it's nerf, whatever. But let's take a look at how pros are using this. First off, the invisibility spell onto the elephants. If you guys are wondering, why the heck is he doing that? Well, the reason why he's doing that is with this elephants out of the way, because invisible buildings cannot be targeted, the same with like troops. So if you make something invisible, it basically does not exist um, for new targeting troops. Um, this means the next air defense is the air defense at the core. This is causing the hound to directly fly in front of the um, in front of the blimp. So even though this blimp pretty much was baited with this tornado trap, he's easily taking care of that because he used this invisibility spell onto the air defense. So really nicely done by knowledge. And now he's getting an insane value. Not only he's taking care of the eagle and even more buildings in the core, but as well he's creating awesome pathing for his for his Lalo later on, obviously taking out the Hound as well, which is nice thing to have because the Hound otherwise is normally a really annoying um, thing to face. And he's taking care of the Sweeper, that is going to be important later on for the Lalo. But for now, he's doing the next step, which is just putting his heroes down into this Single Inferno Tower compartment because the compartment is quite large, which means there's not, not only the Single Inferno Tower in there, but it's as well the Scatter and another Sweeper. And the Royal Champion. So a lot of value in there. Get you on the outside to funnel. And so far this looks really good. King ability obviously taking care of the enemy Royal Champion easily. Queen is following. The Barbarians are dying kind of quick. Which is unfortunate. But still Scatter should go easily go down. With this Queen ability still not used. And this is looking really great for knowledge. As soon as all of the defenses around the, this compartment are down. You can start off with this Lalo from the right side. The pathing looks awesome. And well... And McQueen is the only thing which is kind of alive, which could cause this attack to have some trouble. But to be honest, he has his own, like his own Royal Champion not even deployed yet. And nearly 50% of this base is already gone. So insane attack so far from knowledge. Now the haste getting into the Town Hall, obviously freezing the Town Hall, hitting the air defense as well. Those are like the small things which make really the big difference in between of like normal players and those pros. So really nicely done. 
Now the warden ability loons are just following the outside buildings. Royal champion in behind now as well, just to take care of the enemy uh, and the queen. But the lava pups are already doing that job, so that's great. Um, now the royal champion is tanking nicely for the loons, uh, which is awesome as well. He has a couple of more loons for the back end, targeting the air defense and the archer tower. And this should be an easy snack for knowledge. So really nicely done. And well, that's that's basically like a highlight reel of the last Claymore League. But to be honest, the most impressive attack for me still was the, just this insane 25 wizard attack. And this not even used like this was not even with like an like a super wizard blimp or something. I remember where everyone was doing like barge back then, like tripling bases left and right with barge. But that was only possible because you had like this OP OP super wizard blimp. Well, Exorcist did this without the blimp, so really nicely done. As I said, we promoted or like try promoted from champion two to champion one, so nicely done over there. Well, and that's it for today's video already because uh, we took a look at all of those attacks. My personal favorite had to be the 25 wizard attack. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. See you guys back tomorrow. Until then, see ya and bye bye.